Okay, I'll explain the technology of my madness here for you. Uh, having done the weld, then the next thing to do is to put these boards in. And what I'm going to do is take my, my big ugly grinder over there and I'm going to grind off the rough edges and then I'm going to sit this piece down in there. And the way I'm going to work this is that I'm going to put a bolt through this piece of oak. I'm going to mount uh, probably a big old uh, nut inside here that a bolt can go through, not screw into, but go all the way through where I can put a nut on the bottom side of it. And what's going to help hold this body down on the frame is the wood itself will be bolted to the frame. It'll lay over these side rails and it will hold the body down. It'll kind of press the body down tight on there. I'm thinking while I'm building this of something like this. If I ever want to get the body off, uh, I can unbolt these things, unbolt these bolts to hold the corners of the body in there and pull the floor out and pull the body off. I, I don't know why, to me it just seems like it's it's as important to me to be able to take this thing apart if I want to as it is to put it together. And I don't want to put it together in such a way where it would be too big of a huge hassle to take it apart. So I'm going to sit, I'm going to grind the board a little bit, make it a little smoother on the edges, set it over in here, uh, drill my holes, line up my bolts, uh, weld that nut right there on the inside of the frame and get me a, a, a carriage bolt that will fit through it and uh, put a bolt and a lock washer on the bottom side of it and that will be board number one. I made my boards so that they, each one overlays the other so that each one will kind of tie the other down. My other bit of thinking is if it rains in here the rainwater would hopefully pass out of here. I, I, this is obviously an open car and at some point it's going to get rained on so I don't want to make a, a watertight tub that I'll have to bail out like a boat. So anyway I'm going to get to work on that. If y'all don't think I'm doing it right just right to uh, Richard Peak, uh, Post Office Box BR549, uh, way up yonder in Glory Land. Amen and hallelujah. talking about see I'm gonna weld that nut right to the frame put the carriage bolt right down through it and then uh, pull the oak piece down tight over that um, getting the nut located was the hardest part I, I looked like a magician I had mirrors and clamps and everything else over there I like a rat rod surgeon or something but uh, I'm gonna weld that in place and then test it and if that works I'll put it down our first board in place. I can see that the sun's coming up, so I'll go check the time. I want to be up to the Department of Motor Vehicle about the time they open this morning. Get myself all legalized as an official driver of the road, but I thought I'd show you uh, that bolt welded to the frame there with the carriage bolt down through it. I should be able to stick a nut and lock washer on the end of that. Uh, I went ahead and wrapped my lines in leather because uh, for one thing, I didn't want to weld around a gas line or a brake line. I had I had a buddy of mine burned a brake line too with a welder one time in his shop, driving his 57 Chevy out. Realized he didn't have no brakes once he got going and ran into the side of his garage with it, and that made quite a mess out of things. I don't want to do that, and plus with the 
gas line right there is a real uh, real opportunity for a fellow to burn himself to death. I didn't want to do that either. So I wrapped it all up in leather and while I had it on there I thought, well that's nice. It gets a little padding against the frame there because it was pretty close. So I just went ahead and wrap that leather around, put some clamps on there and that will hold it. I think I'm going to do this other side up right quick. Bolt that down and then go in and see when the DMV opens and see if I can get myself down there early so I can get that all that stuff out of the way. Okay, there you have it, one board in place. Good and solid and firm. Now, that's how you build a hot rod, build a house, or do anything else. You do it one board at a time, one nail at a time, one screw at a time. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, take care of some other things I need to do this morning, and uh, I'll come back to this. My next two boards are gonna attach together, and the seat is gonna be bolted to them, and there's gonna be little uh, oak wedges up underneath them um, so that the seat tilts back just a little bit that's going to take a little bit more time and a little bit more fabrication so uh, like i say i'll go take care of the other stuff i need to do this morning then i'll come back and i'll work on that some more anyway it's progress it's slow but it's progress that's how we do it <laughs> 